Welcome back guys to Modern Art and today we have an awesome guest on the show. We have Brit. Yeah? He is a music producer well going by Disco Days. My man, how are you doing? I'm doing really, really well. Thanks for having today, Joe. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Thank you for actually coming on the show and making the time, but I really do appreciate it. So let's just dive right in. Tell the homies a bit about yourself. What you do, who you are. Ah, where do I start? Um, <laughs> It's been a crazy journey. Um, a lot of people probably know me for being a guitarist actually for, for back in the days when I actually started out. That, um, so that's you how you know, started guitar? Yeah, that's how I started out. So in high school, it, it was basically all I did, <laughs> jamming my guitar, bringing it to school, you know, just always trying to jam a couple of riffs. And basically, from that point on, I always knew that you know music is what I wanted to do. Mm, your passion. My passion, yeah. And it went on for a good, good couple of years actually till after after high school. Funny enough, so music production it, it came more in a later stage after I kind of started understanding the fundamentals. I would say of you okay. know how to write a song, okay, how to structure music because it it, it was very really, very really challenging. Like just to get one song done would have probably taken me two to three months okay, versus okay. everything that I've learned in this, this long period of time. It's more than a decade. And you can, honest, you can knock, been, it, yeah, you can knock it off this. in what, two, three days now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, so the progress is going, man. It's, it's been an amazing journey and, and obviously a huge shift from doing live guitar and actually rock music. Mm. So you did rock yeah, music yeah, as well at one stage? Rock music. Rock music, nice, and that, nice. that, that, that's what basically jolted with me. And even till today, it's still it's still music still a that part I love, of you. Love, love, love listening to. And you know, sometimes I'll jam a bit of guitar. I'm not as good as I used to be, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's still a huge part of me. And from that point, um, you know, after just growing up, being exposed to, I would say, Peter's pe not Peter's genres. I can't say Peter. There's no such thing as Peter. It's um, yeah. preference. Preference, you know I mean? definitely. So, after being exposed to a lot of electronic music, um, going to underground parties, festivals, you know, being being a teenager, basically just fresh out of matric high school. Being in the scene. Yeah, it was Enjoying amazing. Life. And I thought I knew everything, you know, playing in a band and being to my first underground party, I think that's when everything changed. And what? That's what, what, what was the first underground party you've been to? You, if, if I can remember correctly, it was... Um, it wasn't the party that changed my life in terms of music preference and what I'm doing right now, but it, it, it was actually Dragon Room. Okay. And I think it's in Arrington Street. Yeah, and no, I've been yeah, there. I've, I've been there. Dragon I Room like that place. And, um, I think it's called Assembly. It was called Assembly also recently. Mm -hmm. They had two floors and I went in there and I can't even remember the genre I was listening to. I think it was Dumb and Bass at the time. And they had this heavy uh, dubstep going. So I, I really fell in love with it because it was this grimy sound. It was this hard... You know, it's, it's stuff that you could bang to basically. So yeah, to what you would do if you go to a, a, a rock concert. So I really enjoyed it. And, and I think that kind of opened up my eyes to not being one track minded, mm. I would say when it comes to music, music in general. And from that point onwards, I started attending Cold Turkey. Cold Turkey parties, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Yeah, no, nah, everybody's familiar and with Cold yeah, Turkey. <laughs> I think that really changed my taste in music and, and also opened up my mind to new sounds and you know just ideas was that was that uh, the was, party that yeah, changed the whole that perspective everything, okay yeah. okay everything changed after okay. cold turkey and i just knew at that point and and the funny thing is at, at that point of of um my music career I, I wasn't actually taking it serious so to say it was more of still a hobby type of a thing but deep down i knew like it's, it's something i really want to do you know mm. long term um and I was also messing around on FL Studio, funny enough. I mean, I mean in, in anyone that probably dived into music know what FL Studio is or used it. Fruity and Loops. Yeah, Fruity Loops. Big out of Fruity Loops. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I jammed around on it, did some guitar pieces, did some vocals. I used to do a couple of um, vocals as well. I can sing a little bit. And um, I released, yeah, I released, I released some single, single tracks. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a little... <laughs> 
um, courting two minds about it, you know, uh, you know, getting everyone or the public to, to listen to it. But, but maybe someday mm. I, would, I would probably, you know, put out something there. But there is something online, I'm not going to say, you can find okay. it. <laughs> but there's a lot of my old content online. Um, but yeah, I think that taught me a lot about just, you know, how to approach music, mm. how to basically interpret what you feel in a musical piece, you know, similar just trying to describe yourself and really how you feel in that moment because I feel music comes with the emotion that you have at, at, at that point in time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's been the constant drive and now it's it's been probably five, six years that I've been making electronic music and it's taken up till twenty nineteen, which was three years ago, that I actually got my final breakthrough releasing on my first label. Okay. Deep Society Music. Deep Society, shout out yeah, Deep Society. Deep society. Well, tell, um, tell us a bit more about yeah. that. So, um, just want to have a sip. Oh, yeah, but um, Deep Society, uh, it's basically a label, music label, um, based in Cape Town. Myself and um, Clint and uh, Brandon, we basically co- collaborate in terms of running this label. Okay. And um, our main, I would say our main focus and what we're looking at is finding that raw, you know, that raw talent. Mm. Everyone will say, okay, I want to see raw talent and I want to see someone that really thrives in terms of bringing their music perspective across in an in electronical sense. We're not genre specific, but obviously deep society tells you all. It's yeah, definitely. Deep, deep deep, yeah, focus. definitely. Um, Quick yeah. question. Um, are you looking for local talents? per se or, or just in general in general okay. in general we, okay. we, we look to nourish basically these guys out there that's really trying to push and, and, and get, get their name out there yeah, yeah. quality is a big part of it don't yeah. get me wrong I mean today in this day and age you can buy a laptop or you can ask you can get a laptop donated to you and you can like I said load a FL studio and you can produce and it start Good messing track. around I mean, yeah. anyone can do that any, any DJ these days as well can um, you know just set up a laptop it, it really takes you know, good understanding of, of, of what you're doing and knowing how you, you basically want to interpret that. Like I said earlier, music comes with emotion, but also mm. how you portray that in, in, in a track. I think when we're looking for music, not me specifically, but as a label, when we're looking for music, we want something that's unique. You know what I mean? Everyone's doing maybe Deep House or you will hear your, your house that will be playing on the radio quite, quite commonly and it will be all, you know, I have nothing against it, don't get me wrong, Ibian, like I said, has their own preference, but if you're listening to, to commercial house music, you and you've been making music for quite some time, you can listen to the elements that's been used in these, you're so smart, mm. even though it's basic, a lot of people will criticize it and say, you know, it's very basic elements and this, this, this and that, but it's used in such a smart way that it solves. Um, and Deep Society, we, we're not necessarily about that, you know what I mean, we look more in the essence of music that we can connect to, that our we're not a niche label, but we do, I think we do obviously cater to a niche market. Yeah. Um, but we also want people out there, not just that specific niche market, we want also everyone out there to be aware that listen, music can sound good in all forms, mm-hmm. whether it's deep, underground, electronic, you know, it's just how you interpret it in that time. So basically just bring your unique aspect and... That's it. Okay. It's like reading a poem. Um, you and myself and 10 other people can read the same poem and we can all interpret it in a different way yeah definitely and i think as you as you grow and as you get older your music taste also differs like as, as crazy as this might sound when i was i was in the core of of, of making rock music in, in my teenage years i despise anything any other genre other than rock music okay it was just like it rock just and rock, nothing, nothing else. else okay and i didn't realize i was crippling myself mm, very 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 uh, tunnel vision that's vibes. and that's that's my message basically as well to everyone out there especially in in this fast market that we at the moment in south african house music this mm. specific sound which i absolutely love and adore but i also feel and and you guys also hear in the music that, that i'll be presenting to you guys it's basically my take on South African music and how it's influenced me, as well as my huge, huge appreciation and, and, and um, admiration basically for um, what the guys are do, doing overseas, you know what I mean, in Europe and in other countries. But um, there's some really, really, really good music that's being pushed out in Russia at the moment. Let's, let's touch on that for yeah. a bit. If, if we really have to just kind of yeah. off the top of your head, who inspires you mm. at this point in your music the most? Good question. 
There's a, there's, there's a couple of guys, yeah, I must okay. say. And Obviously, then, there's like, like a lot of people. I mentioned um, Russia, but these guys are necessarily Russian. Um, maybe one of them, um, but Korea Yuik. Hmm. Um, awesome, awesome producer, DJ, and I just I just love the work that he's doing. Um, is he local or? He's, he's international. Okay, he's international. He's international. Um, I've also a very good friend of mine, but I'm not saying this in a biased way, but the back <laughs> okay. thing got huge huge respect for him as well okay. he's a mentor as well to me in terms of you know making not necessarily producing the music that i'm making today but giving me that insight from a you know from a experience point of view on how to approach things okay so he's a huge mentor and i respect him for everything that he's done and he's also running a label um also koi records and he's based in south africa say that again oh so koi oh so koi oh so koi shout out oh so koi you can drop that links yeah. in the description eh? and um last but not least um i think that, that falls into my top three category is maxi de Grassi. Mm. um i think he's from argentina so those those are really my three you know guys at the moment that's really pushing me in in a musical sense and you know approach perspective you know, in how I want to improve myself. And um, it's important also to stay true, you know, to, to what you want to do. To yourself, basically. That's it. And, um, yeah, I, I think that's that's basically been my approach. And quite recently, for the past, say, three, four years, I have been um, collecting vinyls as well. Okay. And, you know, sometimes diving back, back into time. And I'm not talking about 70s, 80s, anything like that. It's like... <laughs> You know, more early two thousands. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more in the in the in in in, in that year two thousands nineties. I'm diving into a lot of those um, underground classics, house music, and there's one artist specifically. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Hakam Hakam Lidbo. Hakam Lidbo. 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 Okay. Very very interesting character. Um, I don't think he pro- he produces the type of music that he was doing at that time, but it just goes to show that you can evolve. music really comes with emotion like like i said once again you can evolve and your style can change and what i'm doing right now doesn't necessarily mean i'm going to be doing this for this particular sound forever so yeah. it's very very important to always take um knowledge and lessons and what you learn out there and always try and improve and also show versatility you know in in, in, in what you're doing okay so yeah oh, that's interesting yeah. that's interesting so um Touching on the vinyls and what we were talking about earlier, uh, what do you have in store for your for your fans? I heard you were you know, taking a little bit of break, just creating yeah. music and pushing out your, your creative talent. So yeah, um, you know, COVID has been a blessing for some. And a blessing and a curse. And a curse for others. Both, yeah, fifty yeah, fifty yeah. vibes. And I'm I'm super grateful. I mean, during during the time of COVID, I was being able to make music. I think that's that's what kept me sane as well. Mm. Um, I've been working on plenty of music. So um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, you know, this pandemic has set or unsettled a lot of not just musicians, but the entertainment, entertainment industry. And with that being said, obviously, I don't want to give any specific labels or names out, but I've got a couple of big releases coming out this year, locally and internationally. Okay, lovely. Um, so I'm really, really excited about it. Um, and yeah, I think my... My continued focus for this year as well is just finding that balance between creating and putting out good music, improving as an artist, and um, also, like I said, I've been collecting vinyl, so obviously I've been, you know, tapping into bit that, yeah. And also trying to 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 honest my craft in that. So pretty soon I'll I'll be able to also you know be playing on a regular basis vinyl. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's been a very very interesting journey up to now. I've been doing this, like I said, for about. In total, more than a decade, I've been doing music, but in the DJing and production side of things, it's been going on for about five, six years now, and it's been very, very interesting. I've been learning so, so much, mm. and I've been getting amazing support all over, you know, so I, I hope it continues, and I really, really hope also the, the tunes I'm going to put together like you guys have been enjoyed. I definitely think they're going to enjoy that, definitely. So quickly, um, I've heard or oh, I've seen your Sunday sets uh, in Musenberg some uh, yeah mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. is that still going on so, a regular basis yeah actually interesting you mentioned that so we we're hoping to get that going soon again 
um, we obviously want to be respectful in the bounds of, of current restrictions that we're in yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. So definitely, definitely we want to continue that going. Um, it's a very, very awesome place. It's actually a vegan vegan restaurant. Oh, lovely, my kind, yeah, my kind of yeah, place. <laughs> yeah, so vegans, yeah. If you if even surf is corner in Musenberg, mm. definitely come check it out. Um, it's African Soul Surfer. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully we'll, like I said, we'll be running some Sunday events this soon again. And um, it's actually uh, the event that we're running with our label. And we'll, time and again, we'll get in a couple of guest DJs, you know, just to come in and also play a couple of tunes and things, have some good food. Okay. Things and yeah, a little time. So I'm definitely pulling up yeah. there, man. <laughs> C- catch a surf and then after that, yeah. jam out to your music. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So right now, I actually want to hear a set from you. Lovely. So I think we'll go to an ad break and then afterwards we can enjoy a lovely set from Disco Days and check out what he's all about. Thanks, my man. Check you soon, man.
Disco Days gave a serious six set there, man. Goodness, bro. Thank you. I love the music, man. I'm loving it. So I'm loving it. I was jamming. I don't even... Yeah. I wish these people <laughs> saw I was jamming you at the back. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Um, but I have a couple questions. So, um, was that all your music? Did you include some artists there yeah. that you know? So, basically a couple of artists um, that I mentioned earlier. Mm. Um, I also dropped one of my my recent remixes that I've done. Okay. For, for Deep Society Music, um, transcending from from Janelia, it was a remix I've done for an EP for him. And we can we can check that out. Yes, definitely. Okay, lovely. So we'll drop that in yeah. the description below. Definitely. definitely. So all content I've got um, on SoundCloud. Okay. Uh, mixes you can check out obviously on Mixcloud as well. Yeah, no. Nah. All of that will be yeah. dropped in the description below. Yeah. You can go check all his music out. You can go subscribe yeah. and follow his Instagram and everything. Definitely. And yeah, well that's obviously going to be the best way to keep um, up to date with, um, with like your said, some big releases that I've, I've got lined up for this year. And um, also some regular shows that I will be doing hopefully. Okay, nice. Um, DK nice. Radio, Funny Cup. Um, I know you guys will be with them as well, Funny Cup Radio. And hopefully things get back to normal now. Is that going to be like now soon? Yeah, so oh, um, nice. I'm basically monthly I'm featuring on Funny Cup Radio. Playing so a set. It's like bi-weekly, more or less, yeah. Where okay. You can tune in every Friday. Just check out on their page, yeah, on their page as well. Okay, no, lovely, 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 lovely. Um, but yeah, a lot of things, things in the work. Like I said, it it's it just depends on where the world, it's the world us, allows yeah. to take us. Yeah, with this pandemic and everything, it's obviously slowing things down a bit. Um, mm, but it has kept me from putting in the work and. Like as you it said, nah, it's yeah. a fifty-fifty. Artists fifty. definitely took this time to actually hone our craft and actually yeah. put some work in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so definitely. I mean that. Cover is a blessing and a curse, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, the style of music that you were playing, explain that a bit more and why you chose that style of music. So, very, very good question as well. Um, like I mentioned to you earlier, it's I always want to obviously be diverse. Mm. Um, 
in terms of my approach to what I'm doing and I think right now we I'm at musically that's that's what I enjoy that's basically what speaks to me okay and I feel when you when you DJing and when you're making music once again it just coincides with that emotion and that journey that you also want to take everybody on so I always keep that in mind basically with the sets that I'm putting together whether I'm playing on the fly or whether it's you know a big gig that I'm obviously curating a set for I always keep the, the listener in mind and I always try and put them on that that journey and that experience so that they can actually it's, it's hard to put into words mm, um, but you can feel it I definitely, can, definitely felt it. that I definitely, definitely felt feel that. it and I'm, I'm in a very happy space um, in my life coming from darker times mm. so I kind of resonate that in the music that I make um, even though you'll find dark undertones to it as well but I always just want a listener to feel happy and you know smile inside out okay. so to say when, when you listen to music and when you're jamming out or dancing on the floor yeah nice and i like it also because like as we were talking about earlier on um whether you just chilling with your friends having a nice lunch mm. or you want to jam yeah. out or you want to dance you can do all of it or none of it at the same time the with same the music that you're playing yeah. so that is that diversity also comes across really nicely and that's Definitely. what i enjoyed about the set thank you you know what i'm saying thank you it's not always like 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 you said it's not always easy to to, to find that balance to make it appealing for everybody's mm. ear um, that's not my intention. I mean, if if, if you love my music, um, I, I really appreciate you. <laughs> if you don't, I also appreciate you. I mean, that's that's just you telling me that I need to work on myself. So I'm not saying I want to be appealing to every single person. It's impossible. Yeah, we can't always appeal to always, everybody. You know, yeah. Everyone has their own cup of tea. But at the end of the day, I want people to just understand that it's it's been done with the love, purely with the love and, and intention of making music to make other people happy. Yeah, I know. And yeah, that's 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 that's, that's always my, my 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 vision basically when I do this. No, that reason it definitely resonated with me, and I definitely think it's gonna resonate with everybody else out there. Like no, honestly. Um, lastly, before we end off the show, uh, what do you have to say for the listeners out there and your fans? Any messages or anything that you just want to put out there? Well, um, sure. From my, my perspective right now and, and, and everything that's going on, I just want to say, you know, keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. Um, nothing is bolt in a day. Some people are lucky, you know, they get that one YouTube click or the one lucky person or right person that listens to the single or the EP. Um, but I mean, keep pushing. I mean, I've been doing this, like I said, since probably 13, 14 years old. Okay. I'm turning 30 this year, it's <laughs> almost 15 years later, so... It's going strong, really, really, It's been a very, really, very really long journey. It's been a very really, um, up and down your battle. Like I said, sometimes I felt like this is even for me. Do I still want to do music? Do I even want to do this on a professional level? But not saying that I've made it in any sort of way, but you know, it's, I'm striving towards doing the best that I can, you know, and, and obviously putting South Africa and Cape Town on the map. And I just want to let everybody out there know that I really, really do appreciate every single tune in, listener, like, post you know and even mm. download I mean a lot of people don't realize how important it is to just support an artist out there I yeah mean, truly everyone's you know um, culprit to being or doing piracy online or downloading music or whatever you know it's normal it's in the day and age that we right now but when you support an artist purchasing a song on Spotify or SoundCloud it's 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 just the long term how can I say it's a long term thought and, 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 and purpose in what we're doing where we put hours and hours into what we do and for somebody just to go in the put or you know, download it and distribute it or whatever. It doesn't sit bad with me because that shows that we're doing something right. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> really. making good music. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, you know, it's our bread and butter. Yeah. Um, Give some, you credit where it's due. Yeah, you know, so some people does the you know, they DJ and they produce or they make music as the so full core um sense of, of, of earning income I'm fortunate enough that, that I'm still doing this on the sideline at the moment um, obviously very very serious about what I'm doing and hopefully in years to come and you know this things continues to, to improve and, and, and grow on my side and the continuous support that everyone's giving that can only help me you know achieve my, my actual dream and goal, mm. you know to start taking things overseas hopefully one day soon and hopefully also get my first booking outside of Cape Town which hasn't happened yet 
Um, soon, bro. Hopefully soon. Universe is gonna roll like soon, bro. Yeah, this is all the uh, building blocks and um, the vision that I've got towards what I'm working. With. Okay. Yeah. Let's go, days. Yeah. Bra, it was a pleasure listening to the set. Thank it was you. a pleasure talking to you, and it was a pleasure just kind of getting you to ex express yourself, express your mind, and tell the yeah. viewers, and especially me, just what music really means to you. Yeah, you know what I'm you. saying? This is what the show is about. Thank Coming you so on much. the show, showing what, you, what you're about, you know, and giving the listeners and the viewers a piece of your mind, because at the end of the day, we are artists, and we can love your music, but it means more when we understand the backlog behind your music and why you do it. Why you do it, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And thank you so much for having me. Like, um, it's, it's the first time I've done, you know, this. And then it's, I hope, obviously, there's going to be many more. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. Definitely. Really, really you need to play another set, man. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> play another Hopefully set. it's going to be a vinyl one next time I'm, I'm back. Ah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. That should be on the cards. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks again, man. Oh, we're not. But, really uh, for now, for this episode, I wish you, I wish you well, man. And um, all right. for everybody out there, I hope you enjoyed Disco Day's set. And I mean, uh, I'll drop all the links and all the social media descriptions and everything down in the description below. And you can definitely go check that out. But from us, for now, open up. Over and out, man. Enjoy the weekend.